Hello everyone, this is me Arijit back with a brand new video in Sparklers with the Makers and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use a LiDAR with Raspberry Pi. Specifically I'm going to use the Slamtech RPI LiDAR C1 and I'm going to, so this is how basically this LiDAR looks like and I'm going to use it with a Raspberry Pi 4 but you can also use the Raspberry Pi 5 or 3 whatever uh, you have. I'm going to tell you how a LiDAR basically works and then I'll show you how you can connect to it to a Raspberry Pi, how you can install the library, how you can get the data from LiDAR to Raspberry Pi and finally I'll also show you how you can create a LiDAR scanning system using Raspberry Pi. So all these things we are going to cover in this video so let's get started. So the very first thing is what is a LiDAR? So LiDAR basically stands for light detection and ranging. So basically it throws a laser and then the laser falls on the object and it reflects back. Now we know that time when we uh, throw the laser and we know the time when we got the reflection back. Now based on this turnaround time we calculate the distance. Okay. So this is how basically a LiDAR basically works. So it uses light. For example, radar uses radio frequency. Sonar, for example, uses sound waves. Similarly, LiDAR basically uses light or laser. Now, there are several types of LiDARs. So there is 1D LiDAR, which is basically just a single uh, laser you think of. Wherever I'm putting the laser, it is reflecting back and I only know the distance of that very particular point. That is a 1D LiDAR. Uh, in this video, we are going to use a 2D LiDAR, which is basically a single point, but then there is a motor inside it, which is rotating the laser. So I know the distance in every angle, starting from let's say 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In every angle, I'll be checking the distance. So I'll know like 360 degree of this LiDAR. So it's a 360 degree LiDAR. So I'll know in all 360 degree angle where I have what distance. So I can map the surroundings. Okay, so mainly we use LiDAR for mapping. And then there is 3D LiDAR, which basically gives us distances in distances in three dimensions. Okay, now 3D LiDARs are much more expensive. Uh, you can also make a 2D LiDAR using a 1D LiDAR. But for this video, I'm going to use a 2D LiDAR, which is this uh, Slamtech RPI LiDAR C1. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, it's a very good LiDAR. I have used this. I'm using it for, like, for quite a few months and it's working quite well. Uh, the interface is very simple. You have this main uh, LiDAR. So this is, as you can see, this is the main LiDAR module we're having. And this circle, this circle basically rotates. Okay. And then there is this uh, here we having a USB, okay. And also like there is a encoder here, okay. And from this encoder we have this uh, USB cable. So the connection is also very much simple. If you want to connect to your computer, just plug plug this USB cable in your computer. If you want to connect it with your Raspberry Pi, just plug it with the Raspberry Pi, and that's it. And your ladder is ready to use. Now we are going to get inside our Raspberry Pi and uh, we are going to check that how uh, so we are going to check how we can install the libraries and then how we can run a Python code to get the values. Okay, and little more things on the LiDAR. The maximum range of this LiDAR is as based on the specification is 12 meters. There are LiDARs which can go very much higher than this. Uh, but as a basic LiDAR, I think 10 to 12 meters is quite fine. Okay, so now let's get into the Pi and let's see what we can do. So now I am inside my Pi and I have connected with a VNC viewer. So now the very first thing we need to do is we need to install the library for this RPI uh, LiDAR. But before that, we will create a virtual environment in Python. So I'll go to desktop, CD desktop. And now in desktop, I am going to create a folder, CD uh let's i'll give it a name ladder video so okay sorry uh, i'll just create the folder ladder video so mkdir ladder video now i'll go to cd ladder video now i'm inside this folder now i'm going to create a python virtual environment python uh, m v e n v uh, ladder video i'll just give it this name and let's just create the python create the virtual environment for us
okay so the virtual environment has been created now i'll simply enable it so source uh, lidar video slash bin slash activate so now we are going to install a library so pip install py rp lidar so this is the library we are going to use so click enter and also this command you will get if you just go to my github repo okay so you will get it so link of the repo i'll provide in the description uh, not here here okay so the library has been installed properly now we need to do one thing uh, which is we'll go inside the rpi li lidar video folder inside that again lidar video and then we are going to go inside lib64 python 3.11 site packages now here there is a thing called rpi lidar pr protocol okay so you need to open it with a text editor and there you will find that this line rpi lidar cmd4 scan is b uh, this x21 written here we'll change it to x20 and why i am changing it because as per the documentation of this rpi lidar c1 uh, for this cmd4 scan we need to send this uh, x20 command okay not 21 so we need to change this thing for this slider obviously if you are using a different one it may be different so i'll just simply save it and i'll cross it and now we are ready so now uh, if we just uh, just go back and uh, now if we just go to uh, i'll just just show you so if we just go to uh, the official uh, by rp lidar just a moment i'll just remove this so by rp lidar so basically this is the one we are using by rp lidar and there if you go to the examples okay here are a lot of examples are there simple scan express scan check connection so i'll simply going to clone this one so i'll just copy it and i'll just go here so I'll simply do get clone and and I'll just paste this. So just give it a few seconds and now I'll go inside the RP ladder folder. You can also just uh, paste the example that will also work but I'll just go inside the example folder. Okay, so now before we run the example code, we need to do another thing, which is again go to the pi rpi lidar folder, go to examples and open simple uh, this simple scan. And one thing we need to change is the baud rate. Now here the a different baud rate will be written. We need to make it 460800. Okay, so this is the baud rate we need to mention. And again, this baud rate I also got from the documentation for different lidar. It will be different. And now the change is done. Now we can simply write python simple scan.py device connected. And as you can see here, you get the list. So whenever you run this code, you hold this circle here and you will feel that it's vibrating. Okay. So you will know this getting rotated. So again, I'll just run it because last time I was holding it. So proper values I will not get. So we are simply going to run it. And it's rotating now and yeah we got the result so basically this code does what it rotates the lidar for only one time and it prints the value so for example if you see here so if you see so yeah as you can see the angle so the angle we mentioned so 100 100 100 100 200 300 4 so in this way we are going to get the value so it's not going to rotate fully so 360 is not going to rotate Okay, it's only going to rotate for a few angles and just going to give you the value. Now, what uh, if you want to get a continuous value, right? So for that, I already have wrote the code and I'll also put it in my GitHub. So the same repo, I'll put in the link. You can just go there. For that, uh, I have wrote this code. So I'll show you this slider.py. So I'll just open it with a text editor. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, this is the code. So basically this is the code so as you can see i am just scanning from angle 0 to angle 360 and uh, remaining things are just very similar and i'm just running this in an infinite loop until i press ctrl c so we are going to get the angle and the distance so now i'll just run the code and we'll understand it in a better way so i'll just go to cd so python 
lidar dot pi run it i'll hold it here and now it's rotating and as you can see we are getting continuous result okay continuously we are going to get a result so now i'll just stop it control c and stop it now if you see we are getting here from every angle so if i just show you to go to beginning so as you can see from zero point this one one point this and all that to up to so two zero two zero nine but up to three sixty will get so if you i just go before zero so as you can see from three fifty nine from this so from zero to three fifty from zero to three fifty nine for something in this way you are going to get each cycle and this you will get continuously okay and see in for each angle you are also going to get the distance okay distance this is uh, distance in mm okay so this distance also you are going to get now the thing is we need to plot it because obviously we are getting the angle and distance but uh, unless we see it we will not be able to understand it so for that also we have a code and that code i already uploaded to my github so if you go to my github repo the link i'll provide there is this slider scanner.py so i already have downloaded it in my desktop so i simply write python lidar scanner yes scanner.py and run it and it also needs pi game so uh, pi game is already also required for this code to run as you can see here we are getting the full map full scanning okay and also you will see there are smaller angles for example uh, so smaller like uh, his 50 semi 100 semi 150 200 250 300 so up to 300 semi i have taken for this very particular scanner system in the code you can modify it i'll also show you and also for different distances i have put this 50 100 150 200 and this way i have put all the different ranges when it is very near so if it's inside 100 semi it's red if it's more than un, un, inside 200 it's yellow and it's if it's under 300 but it's more than 200 then it is green in this way i have programmed it but definitely this can be changed so as you can see if i rotate it okay if i rotate it you will see the whole mapping is rotating also i'll show another thing so this is how it is now if i put my hand you can see in the screen my hand here the small red thing so just notice here where my mouse is just notice as you can see this is my hand okay if i just as you can see in this way if i so i rotate my hand and this is going to change okay so if my hand is far away as you can see then it will be around 50 if i make it close then it will come closer okay so in this way in this way it's going to work and if i rotate it also all the different mapping will be rotated so this is how the uh, LiDAR scanning system is working. So I'll show you the code. So and I'll try to explain you the very basic things. So let's just go to GitHub and GitHub I'll show you the code. Uh, not this one. This is the LiDAR scanner.py. So this is the code. So these are basically uh, very basic Pi game things. So I'm not showing you. And this is important mean distance and max distance. So 50 minimum. So 50 mm means 5 semi. 300 mm means 300 uh, 3000 mm that means 300 semi this is my mean and max you can change accordingly this like i mentioned this slider max supports 12 meter so your max distance can be up to 12 meter okay and also uh, mean distance also there is a limit i believe for this uh, lidar 50 mm is the mean distance okay for your lidar it can be different uh, remaining things are just some color coding and everything and also one thing is there that uh, like I already showed you in the LiDAR you are going to get angle and distance. Now that is like so we need to convert that angle to a coordinate. So that's why this polar to Cartesian this thing is there. So the angle will convert to a point so that we can put it in our uh, scanning system or in our uh, mapping or whatever you can say it. And then there is this radar, radar with circles and colors just some basic uh, pie game stuff and then basically here we are getting the angles and uh, the distances if the distance is in our range uh, more than min less than max then you just convert it into the coordinates and then you put it in the map okay and uh, and uh, so and here one thing is very important that uh, basically you do a basically you do a full rotation and then you change it okay if you try to do in this way that you will just uh, scan one point put it now scan second point put it then this code will be become very much so then you need to use threading also 
also in raspberry pi the system will become slow so what i have did is here is it's very simple that you do a full rotation you get all the coordinates then you put it again you do a full rotation get all the points remove the previous points and plot the new points so rather than putting one after one i am doing i am plotting after you i get the 360 points like 360 degree around points then only i'm putting it okay so in that way the program will be real time okay but if you are running in a computer you can definitely do point wise or anything like that in raspberry pi i think this uh, approach will make it little bit more optimized so yeah so that's it all we have in the code very basic code you can modify it and make your own ladder based systems as per your needs so this is how you can use a ladder with raspberry pi and also we are going to do a lot more with ladder so mapping and maybe in future we will use it in ros also so for those videos uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel and also if you have any query regarding lidar or any other thing you let me know in the comment section and i'll come with a very interesting next video so till then bye bye